Joining us in the studio is Dr. Margaret Engelhardt from the European Academy in Bad Neuenahr Ahrweiler. She's a biologist and she's heading a project group on farming, an interdisciplinary group. Now, uh, farming products have been promised for so long. How come we still can't buy them in the pharmacy? Well, there are actually three reasons for that. In the first days or the beginning days, uh, scientists thought that it would be technically easier to do it, but actually it proved that it was more complex to uh, realize it. But uh, these uh, initial hustles has now been um, solved and the technique is more developed. Um, the second point is that the drug approval procedures were quite complex because it was something new to produce uh, medicaments in living higher organisms. And we don't want to take any risks. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. And the third reason is that with the patent system we have nowadays with patents on genes, mm -hmm. uh, companies had problems to really freely research uh, because the uh, competitors had the patents and uh, that was actually a problem uh, as well, but there are many patents that run out now, so there might be, uh, uh, it might be easier now. Okay, and of course there's lots of money in the business. Of course. What would people actually accept more easily, genetically modified plants or genetically modified animals? We actually did a big questionnaire in Europe and the States and Japan, and we found out that people would more accept uh, to have drugs produced by transgenic plants than by animals because they had moral problems with using animals as factories. Uh, animals are more closer to, to humans, uh, so, so they, were, uh, uh, they were critical on this. Um, on the plant side, that was actually a bit surprising for us. We thought since the plant side actually has more risks, uh, that the public would be more critical since the public is also very mm -hmm. critical on green uh, biotechnology yes. in, 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 in That's food. That's the general attitude here. But you, you, you're talking sorry. about the risks, uh, excuse yes. me, but what kind of risks are in the business of farming? Well, I mean, these are plants that uh, are producing um, drugs or f um, medicaments and that's something you don't want to have in your good morning cereals and so you have to really watch that you don't have a mixing of the f with the food and feed chain. But that seems very hard. Do you think we can really solve that problem? Well, there will be always a risk that something escapes. You can never be sure. Uh, mm -hmm. You can, of course, minimize the risk when you put it in a greenhouse and there are even uh, ideas to put it in coal mines mm -hmm. that uh, really nothing does ex uh, escape, but you will never have uh, full security. What can we actually expect as first medicine? Now we've heard of, of, of a, a vaccination banana a long time ago, it's all not coming. What are um, the applications first to expect? Well actually we, we heard in the beginning that there's one medical meant just to prove in Europe that's an anti-thrombin, an anti-clotting mm -hmm. factor. Uh, that's actually uh, one medical meant that's quite interesting, interesting because you can only produce it mm -hmm. by farming. Okay. But you will, we actually expect um, drugs for all big diseases like cancer, uh, they, you have uh, antibodies that you can uh, products okay. produce by this and vaccine and so on. So there is lots of hope in it. Thanks a lot for the talk, Dr. Margaret Engelhardt. Pleasure.